Have you ever wondered what it takes to fly a drone recreationally or commercially in the U.S.? Well, it's not just about buying a drone and taking off. There are certifications involved, the Trust Certificate for those who fly for fun, and the Part 107 certification for those who fly for work. These certifications ensure that drone operators are aware of safety guidelines and aviation regulations. So, are you ready to navigate through the fascinating world of drone certifications? Let's delve into these certifications and understand what they entail. First up, we have the Trust Certificate. This is a crucial piece of the puzzle for all you recreational drone enthusiasts out there. The Trust or the Recreational UAS Safety Test Certificate was introduced to level up safety awareness among hobbyist drone pilots. So, what's the purpose of Trust? It's pretty straightforward. The certificate aims to educate recreational drone operators on safety guidelines and regulations to ensure responsible and safe drone flying so you can have fun without any hiccups. Now, to get your hands on this certificate, you need to pass the Trust Test. It covers the must-knows of drone flying safety guidelines, airspace rules, and best practices for flying drones as a hobby. What are the knowledge areas covered, you ask? The test covers airspace rules and regulations, safe flying practices, understanding controlled airspace and no-fly zones, and emergency procedures. Here's the cool part. You can take the trust test online, either through the FAA's official website or approved third-party platforms. The trust certificate is a one-and-done deal. Once you pass the trust certification exam, as of now, it's valid for life and you do not need to renew it to stay updated on safety regulations. So, if you're a hobbyist who loves flying drones, the trust certificate is your ticket to safe and responsible drone operation. On the other hand, there is the Part 107 certification. This isn't your average hobbyist certificate, it's the real deal, specifically designed for those who wish to operate drones for commercial purposes. Perhaps you're interested in aerial photography or surveying or you have an entirely different commercial application in mind. Whatever your drone-related business venture might be, the Part 107 certification is your ticket to fly. But what does it take to get this certification? Well, first off, you need to be at least 16 years old. Then you'll need to pass the FAA Part 107 knowledge test. This isn't a walk in the park, folks. It's a comprehensive examination that delves into a broad range of knowledge areas. We're talking about airspace regulations, weather and meteorology, LA-NC permissions, TFRs, NOTAMs, reading aviation charts, and understanding radio communication, not to mention the rules and regulations specific to drone operation. You'll take this test at an FAA-approved testing center, and once you pass, you're certified. But don't forget, with great power comes great responsibility. The Part 107 certification is valid for two years. After that, you'll need to renew it by passing a recurrent knowledge test. This ensures you stay on top of any updates or changes in safety regulations. So, if you're planning to use drones for business, the Part 107 certification is what you need. Now that we've covered both certifications, let's summarize the key differences. The Trust Certificate and the Part 107 certification serve different purposes and cater to distinct audiences. The Trust Certificate is designed with recreational drone users in mind. The focus here is on educating hobbyist drone pilots about safety guidelines, airspace rules, and best practices for drone flying. If you're a drone enthusiast looking to fly for fun, this is the certificate for you. The test for this certificate is available online through the FAA's official website or approved third-party platforms. On the other hand, the Part 107 certification is for individuals who want to operate drones for commercial purposes. This could be anything from aerial photography, surveying, or any other business applications. This certification process involves a more comprehensive examination, covering areas like airspace regulations, weather and meteorology, reading aviation charts, understanding radio communication, and drone operation rules and regulations. Applicants for this certificate must be at least 16 years old and can take the test at FAA-approved testing centers. So, in essence, the Trust Certificate is your go-to for recreational drone operations, while the Part 107 certification is for those flying drones commercially. Both certificates ensure that drone operators, whether flying for fun or for work, understand and adhere to safety regulations and guidelines. Whether you're a hobbyist or a commercial operator, the right certification can ensure you fly your drone safely and responsibly, so gear up, get certified, and happy flying. 
If you enjoy the information provided by Studio 5 Productions, please remember to click on the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell. It's free and it helps us reach others like you.